and welcome to Salam Ma with Pity. You know, it's always a joy for me to have you here with me. I have this in my heart to encourage you. There's a song by Jim Reef that is also a blessing in my heart. It says, it is no secret what God can do. It is no secret what God can do. What is done for others, he'll do for you. With hands wide open, he'll pardon you. For it is no secret what God can do. Of the truth is no secret what God can do. He has left himself with a lot of witnesses of his power and his mercy. The book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 16 says, And those who fear the Lord, they spoke to one another. The people that fear the Lord, they have conversation among themselves. This is what first came to my heart in that scripture, meaning that people that fear the Lord, they need to find a way to converge, communicate, and encourage one another. Of a truth in the time that we live now, there's so much to talk about. There's so much to reason about. There's even a lot of questions that we do not understand. But it says the people that fear the Lord, if you're out there, you're one of those who fear the Lord, you need to company with other people that fear the Lord. And make sure in the midst of your conversation, it is still exhibiting the greatness of God. Our conversation should still be what glorifies the Lord. Why? because the Bible says when they were talking with one another, the Lord listened. He asked to them. So in every private, similarly private conversation, there is this unseen person that is hearing and is hearkening and is taking notes and record of everything that is being spoken. And the Bible say a book of remembrance was opened before him and he began to say some other things that goes on. So it is very important that in our conversation in this time, regardless of things that is going on around us in our life, that we see that we make sure our conversation express that we still fear the Lord. We make sure that our conversation express that we still honor the Lord. We still believe in his greatness because there's going to be a recompense. There's going to be a day of reckoning, a day of his jewel, a day that will come and, and separate between a child that fears, the child that honor him and those that don't honor him. I pray the Lord will encourage your hearts in the midst of your conversation, private or public, that you see as big that you fear God and you see as big the fact that there is no God but Jehovah. And above all, you will keep yourself in the company of those that fear the Lord. Because this time more than ever before is a time that iron must sharpen iron. I pray the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Till I have this opportunity to speak with you again, the Lord bless you and understand it is no secret what God can do. Shalom from EPT. Thank you.